At Bubbles, we've created the happy development. We've made five tumbling icons, which are based on the natural movement of the child. Our goal is to motivate children to being in movement as much as possible, all the time, and thereby developing their gross motor skills. We believe when a child has great gross motor skills, they feel more self-confident, they dare to interact, they dare to do a lot more things both by themselves, but also with all of their friends. More importantly, when a child goes to school, when they know their body well enough, they're able to learn even more in school. We've made five different icons. The first icon is to lay on your stomach. When the baby lays in their stomach, they're going to get a stronger neck and a stronger back. The strong neck is essential to be able to hold your head when you start crawling so you can see where you're going, or when you walk and run so you can see where you're running. Furthermore, the strong neck is important to be able to hold your head up so that you can actually be able to control your balance which is in your ears. The second icon is to roll, creep and crawl. The child will learn starting to crawling so they can see and explore the entire world. When the child starts crawling, they need to start coordinating their arms and their legs so they can actually start crawling forward. The third icon is to stand up and to walk. First, the child needs to start standing up. Often they'll need to hold on to something when they're learning to stand. After they've learned to stand, they can start walking and exploring the entire world. The fourth icon is to jump. There's a lot of things happening when you jump. Firstly, when you jump, you need to catch your balance. Secondly, when you jump, you're strengthening your muscles. Thirdly, you're strengthening your bones when you jump. The last icon is balance. You stimulate your balance by swirling around, rocking back and forth, and getting your head all the way down. The balance is essential for all of the movement, sitting up, crawling, walking, running, biking, for all of the different things that has to do with gross motor skills. The five tumbling icons is what we at Bubbles call the happy development. Laying on your stomach, rolling, creeping, crawling, standing up and walking, jumping and balance. All of these elements are the basis of the gross motor skill development of the child. At Bubbles, our goal is to motivate children to being in movement as much as possible all the time. The donut is made out of a different material than the rest of the tumbling furniture. The donut is made out of elastic plastic. When you receive it, it comes with a pump so you can pump it up and take out all the air as much as you'd like to. For the small baby, the baby can lay on its stomach across the donut. It stimulates it a lot more than, for example, some of the different tumbling furniture because the donut is more dynamic. It's in constant movement. When the baby then needs to learn how to stop, stand up, it can hold onto the donut, which makes it a bit more difficult because it's not as sturdy. When you then need to learn how to sit up, the baby can sit on the donut and it's a bit more difficult because the donut is wobbly and is a lot more dynamic. When you get older, starting to crawl over the donut is a challenge for the child and stimulates its balance skills and also its skills within crawling. The donut can be used for the older child when they want to lay on their stomach reading a book, playing with an iPad, but laying on the stomach to get their head further down and stimulating their balance and constantly being in movement. The even older child can sit and bounce on the donut or even challenge themselves a lot to actually stand on the donut and stimulate all their balance skills. When you get older and if you have two donuts, you can put them on your stomach and bounce against each other which is a great lot of fun. The donut you can both use inside and outside and it's actually very easy to clean just with a cloth and some water and some soap. The bubbles worm has been used in a school project where two classes were actually set up against each other. One class got the, a normal chair to sit on and the other class got a worm to sit on. After 26 weeks, the class with the worm were significantly stronger in four out of five mobility tests. Furthermore, the children that were sitting on the worm were able to concentrate and focus longer on what they were doing because there were so many ways to sit. They could sit normally on it. They could lay it down and sit on it. They could stand with one leg on it. The option of sitting was a lot more and the child was in movement so the natural movement of the body was suddenly okay. Furthermore, you can lay in your stomach to strengthen your neck or your back and you can also stand on it to walk on it and that way stimulating your balance skills. The small child can also hold on to it when they're wanting to learn how to stand up before they start walking. The worm is a great chair and if you're taller, you put a small fish on top and then you have a great office chair. 
The duckling is actually great when you want to learn how to stand up and catch your balance. You can also lay the baby on its back to strengthen its neck or to lay it on its stomach to strengthen its core. The duckling can be used in a lot of different options, both to stand on to balance, to have something to hold on, to have something to jump from, or to something that stimulates your balance. The chicken is a great tumbling furniture. It has a lot of different options, all the way from the child is newly born till it's seven or eight years old. For example, sitting on a chair at a dining table in the kitchen, where the child needs to be in movement rather than sitting totally still, which a child's body is not made for. So when you put the ch chicken upside down, the child can be sitting rocking back and forth and thereby being able to concentrate much longer. When the child needs to learn how to sit up, it's better that a child sits without a backrest and sits on the chicken and you can also turn it upside down so they're sitting stimulating their balance. The newly born baby will need to lay on their stomach. It is not fun to lay with your face straight down into the ground. Therefore, having a chicken under your chest, you're able to raise your neck up, getting a stronger neck and a stronger back and thereby it's okay and it's fun to lay on your stomach. When you get older, you can jump up on the chicken, standing on it, both stretching your calves, but also stimulating your balance and that way becoming stronger and being able to do many more things. You can also lay the chicken under your back so you can actually lay with your child on your stomach, rocking back and forth, good for yourself, but also good for the child. If you have a chicken and an elephant, you can take the child and put them on their stomach or on their back and laying rocking back and forth, again, stimulating their balance and making sure that they're actually getting a stronger neck. Many of the tumbling furniture can be used in different combinations, making it even more fun to play with. The Bubbles Elephant is our icon, and it's one of our greatest tumbling furniture. It has so many different options of tumbling, sitting, rocking, holding, jumping, all of the different icons that we have. One of the main ideas is to actually sit on it just as a normal rocking horse. A normal rocking horse will have stops, but on the Bubbles Tumbling Elephant, you can actually fall backwards and forwards. So it's important that you as a grown up in the beginning are there to take care of the child that they don't hurt themselves. But the fact that there are no stops, makes sure that the child actually stimulates and actually challenges their bodies much, much more rather than somebody else taking control and stopping for them. Also just sitting on it, just like a normal rocking chair, make sure that the child is constantly stimulating their balance skills. The small baby can lay on its stomach or on its back. When it's laying on its stomach, it actually holds its neck up high and gets a stronger neck and a stronger back. Now it's okay also to lay the baby on its back. Because the elephant is round, you're still challenging the child to hold their neck up high. Also, you can hold the child's hand and pull the child towards yourself and thereby stimulating its core and its muscle stomach. The great thing about the Bubbles Tumbling Furniture is that you even as a grown-up can interact and be part of the playing with your child. Jumping up and surfing on an elephant, you can do, or you can help your child hone their hands and slowly and surely they'll learn how to jump up and gaining their own balance. There's a lot of balance skills when you're standing on an elephant and also trying to get all the way around when you're standing on it. The elephant can be used all the way from your newly born till you're seven, six, eight years old where you can sit on it, roll on it, rock on it, hold on to it when you're starting to climb. The elephant can be used in a lot of different settings in your home just to stand on, so you can wash your own hands, so you can help your mother do the dishes, so you can stand next to the table so they can actually stand and draw. There are two sizes for the fish, a 24 centimeters and a 12 centimeters. The fish is great as a stool to sit on or something to hold on to when you're learning to stand. When you want to strengthen your back, or your neck, you can also roll on a fish laying on top of it, rolling back and forth over it. The child think it's great, and it's a great exercise for actually strengthening your entire core. The fish can also be used as a step stone to reach up to get into your own bed, a step stone when you want to go to the bathroom, a step stone when you want to wash your own hands. It gives the child the opportunity to become much more mobile in their entire own home, where they're always too short to reach everything that's designed for grown-ups. The roller was designed because we wanted the child to understand fast movement. The roller is not a skateboard. It goes all the way around and therefore you should not stand on it, but you should lay in your stomach using your arms and your legs to move forward. The roller is great to combine with some of the other tumbling furniture, like for example the anteater that you can put on top and then you have a great go-kart to be able to drive the child back and forth. The fact that the roller is made out of EVA foam the benefit is that it does not make any marks in the walls or in the furniture or anywhere in your home when you're driving back and forth. 
The wheels are made out of rubber, so they do not make any marks in your home either. Alternatively, you can put an elephant or a crocodile on top of the roller and thereby using your legs to move forward and stimulating all of your muscle skills and also the entire concept of movement. The wheels of the roller have been put in and up into the roller so that when the child is laying on their stomach, they will not be able to run over their own fingers. The crocodile was originally made because we want to stimulate children to use the cross-coordination of the brain. The right side of the brain speaks to the left side of the body and the left side of the brain speaks to the right side of the body. But also, the child that needs to lay on their stomach, it's great to lay on their stomach to get a stronger neck. When the child then starts to crawl, they can crawl up the different stairs. And when they start to walk, they can start walking up and up the stairs. If you should have two crocodiles, you can also start walking on stilts, which you normally do outside, but now you can also do it inside. When you have more tumbling furniture, you can make a course where you walk on the different tumbling furniture with the crocodile. Having a chicken and a crocodile, you can lay the baby on its stomach so that they're actually balancing. Even you as a grown-up can stand on the crocodile, balancing on it, or helping your child to balance on the crocodile, stimulating your balance and also strengthening your muscles. Having two crocodiles, you can make a bench, having two or three children sitting on it. The Bubbles Anteater was originally created because we wanted to have two tables and two chairs. The two tables are the two larger pieces of the anteater, and the two chairs are the two smaller pieces that are rounded in the bottom so that the child will be sitting balancing back and forth and stimulating their balance. The anteater can also be set up so that it's a staircase. That way that the child will be able to learn how to walking up and down stairs. Every child is a parent's prince or princess and every child therefore needs a rocking chair. So combining the different anteaters, you can set them on top of each other's and then you have your own rocking chair stimulating the child's balance skills. The anteater is also great to create a tower, building it, putting it on top of each other. Tilting it over, which is also part of it, is great fun for the child. And when you tilt it over, the cool thing is that it doesn't make any marks. The anteater has a lot of different combinations, both as a chair for the child, the small child that can sit inside, something that the children can stand on and jump from, and you can also put it on the floor so you can walk and balance on them. The Bubbles Turtle is one of our latest tumbling furniture. It's great to stand on. When you stand on it, it's stimulating your balance and also all the muscles in your legs and your core. All the small muscles in your back and your stomach are being stimulated when you're standing on it, balancing backwards and forwards. When you're a small baby, it's great to lay on your stomach. When you're laying on your stomach, you're again strengthening your neck and your back. You can also turn the turtle around and thereby it's being in movement stimulating the balance skills of the child and making it even more difficult. Having a lot of different tumbling furniture, you can make your own obstacle course. Turning some of the tumbling furniture around makes it even more difficult. The goal of Bubbles is to motivate children to being in movement as much as possible, stimulating and developing their gross motor skills in a fun way.